guys, so here with me is Eliza Valdez, not the volleyball player, but the owner of Wicked Coffee PH. And she's going to bless us with tips on how to start a coffee shop business. Yes. So first question, what made you start a coffee shop? So first things first, we like kami mag coffee ng partner ko. Yes. So we bili kami dati ng commercial shops mm -hmm. ng mga coffee every morning, ganyan. It's kind of expensive, pricey siya. True. Ha, ano siya? Nakaka-jabetis. Oh, oh. <laughs> so, nag kami, bumili ng mga, yung pang, ano, French press, ganyan. Ah, para i-cold brew namin siya. Para mas makatikil kami. So, kami nalang gagawa ng coffee namin sa bahay. At home, yes. For us, making or, you know, doing your own coffee is kind of a ritual. Kasi, syempre, gagawin mo siya in the morning, it's your own time, yes. ganyan. Pero since medyo busy kami, nahihirap siya gawin. Kailangan mabilis, magpadali mo ng paggawa ng coffee. So, naisip namin, what if other people are also having the same problem? Gusto nila ng coffee. Ready na. Na ready okay. na. Gusto nila ng coffee, pero it's mahal. It's expensive. Yeah. Or gusto nila ng coffee, pero medyo pricey yung machine. Yeah. Or hindi lang talaga marunong gumawa. May mga tao hindi talaga talented ng ganun ba. So, naisip namin, what if we make your coffee for you? Yeah. Tapos yung price niya, friendly for if gusto mong araw-araw. Yes, oo. Oh, oh. Cheaper version shop or their coffee shops. Coffee shops, diba? yes. Pero, but the quality. Yes. Yun yung vision niyo, but coffee shop yung napili niyo. Yes. So, how did you start from ground up? So, again, we started with French press, right? Mm -hmm. Doon kami nag-start. So, doon nagkaroon kami ng idea kung what kind of business we would like to enter. Everyone's drinking coffee. Yeah. So, Lalo na nung pandemic, ang daming nagtayuan diba? ng coffee shop. Isip din na siya, pandemic proof siya kasi everyone's drinking coffee. And at home deliver, deliver yes. lang. So, naisip namin sa area namin at that time, wala pang masyadong coffee places. Oh, okay. So, naisip namin, why not bring coffee to the neighborhood, to the oh, local community, yeah, para local. people can enjoy their coffee. Convenient, it's cheap, and also at the same time, accessible. We started na, meron kami dalang ki dati. We started with that, tapos coffee bottles, and then we upgraded na to a bigger machine. So, nag-start muna kayo ng without physical store. So, yes. parang online siya, and then people will order yes. lang. Nilabas na namin siya sa garage na namin siya nilagay so that people can also enjoy it. Pwede silang mag-tengan if they want. Yeah. Ganyan. Like you guys, like, pwede like, kayo. Yes. Oo. Pwede rin kapag kunwari may tapapay na bikers. And then, here we are. Yeah. Siguro, um, most of the viewers will also ask this, curious din sila, how much kaya would you need if you want to start a coffee shop business? Mm -hmm. That's actually a very tricky question mm -hmm. kasi for us, it's an experience namin, right? Ah, okay. So we started with the long way, which is kind of pricey na din. You know, there are different kinds of brewing methods that you can get into. So meaning, pwede kang mag French press, cold brew. Yan. Pwede mo siyang gawin. Pwede rin yung slow brewing. Yung forever. Ah, so kumbaga yung base mo, pwede iba-iba yung method yes. mo based sa iyong oh, oh. Um, budget yes. siguro. Oh, okay. okay. Kami, ang ginawa namin with the espresso. Machines. So, machines yes. siya. So, that one is kind of pricey. Yeah, so, actually. siguro depende na rin kung gano or kung how much money na meron ka. Ah. Kasi, based on what we've researched, pwede yung 20,000. Ingredients. Meron din kasi kami mga napanood before na 25, 20,000 nakapag-sort sila ng coffee business nila. So, depending on how much meron ka or kung how much yung pwede mong iilaan. Ilaan. So, in connection with that question, pag magsistart ka ba ng coffee shop business, parang, is it important to, yun, start small? Or is it important to parang i-all-in mo na, start big? Well, depende sa privilege depende mo. Depende. <laughs> diba kung may budget ka, why not? Yung yeah, big, actually, right? Okay. Pero if medyo limited yung funds, more resources, um, it's okay to start small. Parang you have to be just creative, no? And mm -hmm. then you can start from there. Parang upgrade, upgrade, upgrade uh -oh. ka isa-isa based na nakukuha mo. Okay, so, ano yung challenges nyo from the moment you started? And siguro, if may makaka-relate sa inyo, ano yung tips nyo to manage? Actually, madami kami yung problems when we started. Kasi parang two-man team kayo, eh. Yes, so that's one of the problems that we had. Short staff kami. <laughs> and then, um, at the same time, when we started, yung machine na gamit namin, nagsistop siya in the middle of the process. Nasisira yung grinder niya. So, kailangan namin siya palitan kasi there was a time na ang dami nyo nag-pre-order for this certain day. Tapos hindi namin ma-fulfill yung order. So, we had to refund. Sayang! So, one thing then na dapat pala inisip namin would be the machine. So, that's why we upgraded. Another one would be looking for the right and balanced recipe. So, si partner siya nag-isip niyan. 
Kasi, siyempre sa coffee or sa taste ng coffee nagtatalo. So, gusto na namin, mag-focus din sa quality ng coffee na serve namin. Right? Gusto yeah. namin, may enjoy siya ng tao. Ayaw namin na walang lasa or, you know, kasi we want it to be really good. Yeah, kumbaga lalo na kung coffee and kung siya siya yes. yung pa, they will know it. Eh. Diba? Yes. Yung quality ng sinaserve mong coffee. Eh. So, last would be probably yung costing namin, kung paano yung budget, and then yung place. Yung area namin. Area. Kasi before, again, uh, let's start kami sa kitchen namin. Ah, so, so ano la online orders. Oh, madami, madami naging problems when we started. Pero siguro ang naisip namin na uh, just how to manage transparency with your partner. Mm-hmm. Kasi yung partner mo sa business. Yeah. Transparency kung ano yung problems, kung ano yung pwede yung gawin. Kasi doon kayo makakapag-brainstorm ng pwede yung gawin. Yeah, actually, di ba makakapag-solve it? Kasi may magkaiba kayong ways eh, to solve a problem. Yes. So the more brains na, the better. Oo. Tsaka parang mas maraming, like what you said, mas maraming ideas din kapag dalaw kayo nag-uusap. Yeah. Doon kayo makakapag- Nasi-share niyo yung load ng ano, problem. Oo. Makakapag-come up kayo na paano development sa product niyo, kung paano niyo siya i-improve. So another would be adjust. Mag-adjust kayo. There are times then na uh, yung pag-start namin sa coffee industry, hindi pa ganun kadami alam natin. Parang you learn along oh, the way. Oh, you learn along the way. So you have to adjust. Hindi na yun yung finished product mo. Yes. So continuous yung development. Baga nag improve siya no? as yes. you go along the way. Like before, kwento ko lang din. Before lang sinaserve namin with dark roast. Ah, so okay. kasi dark roast girl ako eh. May ilang sa dark roast. So yun ang parang kung ano yung base experience mo, yes. yun na rin yung in-apply mo oh, sa business. Okay. Pero not everyone likes dark roast. Yeah, right? that's true. Not everyone is a fan of dark roast. So we wanted um, our coffee to taste like it's for everyone. Yeah. So we went down to medium roast. Medium roast. So a lot of people can enjoy it. Then yeah. Tapos if you want lang na mas matapang, ano, pwede ka mag-add ng shot. Ah, oh, the double meal yes. shot ng espresso. Oo. Okay. Because at the same time, for example, short staff kami, then we have to make time. Kung mara, at that time, may, may work pa ako. So I have to adjust. Nag-resign ako so that I can help out with the business. Ito sa isa ka doon sa mga ano, stories na I left <laughs> yes. the corporate world to yes. focus on my business. Yes. So it's a reality talaga. Any tips for those who want to start a coffee shop business mm. like you? Marami, marami kami natutunan along the way that we also want to share to other people. But I'm just going to mention siguro three muna. So one is get into the business with the intention to help other people. So your product should help other people. Actually, parang nabasa ko yan. If you want to make a business, maganda kung yung product mo parang may solution siya yes. or a common problem. Ang gusto namin na-solve would be, of course, convenience for other people. Yes. Right? Mabilis. At the same time, cheaper siya. And at the same time, accessible siya. And fact na very active kayo sa online. Second naman, would be, be open to feedback. Mm-hmm. Kasi mag improve talaga. Every time na may mag-order sa amin, we always ask for feedback. Kung ah, kamusta yung coffee, yung coffee. O, o kung na-enjoy nyo ba yung experience, or meron pa kayong masasuggest na pwede namin i-improve. Kasi sometimes, doon din kami nakakakuha ng idea. Right? For example, yung other customers sa amin, gusto nga ng medium roast, ganyan, or masyadong natapawag sa amin sa amin. Adjust kami. Right? And number three, pay attention to customer service. So a lot of people get into the business without really taking care of their customers. Paano sila mag-communicate? Parang totoo yun eh. It's the same. Parang take care of your customers because they will take care of you. Usually, word of mouth talaga eh. Mm-hmm. Word of mouth talaga ang nag-bring ng people sa mm-hmm. business mo. So in a way, if you take care of your customers, they will put it good yes. word for you. Yes. Palat nila yun. Tsaka na rin, may mag-message sa Instagram. Um, you have to make sure na nag-reply ka. Kasi mm-hmm. what if nagahanap sila ng coffee kasi hindi ka nakareply? Hindi nag-order na sila sa iba. If meron silang concern about your product, um, make them feel like they're heard. Yeah, diba? oo. oo so, no, they matter yung opinions oo. nila. I hope Eliza help you guys, lalo na yung mga gustong-gusto mo mag- gumawa ng coffee business dyan. Like me, it's a dream of mine, pero clueless talaga ako where to start. By the way, sobrang ganda talaga ng latte art. Latte art na. We end with the interview here, but syempre hindi ako papayag matapos yung day lang. Hindi ko na-experience <laughs> maging barista girl. Super happy ako because they will allow me to make my own dream. Tapos tuturuan na rin nila ako. Okay, let's go! So first is, mag-i-apron muna ako. Ah! May kinakabahan ako. Walang latte art. Okay. <laughs> so, eto yung menu nila. Tatry ko yung white chocolate mocha. Thank you.
sarap! My God! Sobrang heaven. And Guys, gawa mo yan. order na kayo. And gawa mo yan. And gawa ko to. So, mama, I made it. Mama, I made it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.